This is the Lanark Silver Race Bell on its Victorian stand. Um, it was believed to have been given to the people of Lanark in 1166 by William Lionheart, which stays in the, the crest on the top of the box. Um, we believe that it was given to the people of Lanark for William's love of hunting in the area. Um, it's one of the oldest pieces of sporting Scottish silver in the world. And the four inch high bell is the important part. On the front here we've got a gilt front um, in the crest of Lanark with the double headed eagle which holds up the, the stand. To the side here we've got the assay marks of the people who made the bell. And across the top here, which is commonly mistaken as a scratch, is the assay mark, which a small piece of silver was taken away to be tested the, the quality of the silver. But originally the bell um, didn't stand on the Victorian stand. It was a later addition to get all of the medals on for every winner who won. Each medal was made by Hamilton in inches um, and marked down with the year that it won, the horse that won it and the jockey. The first race was run in 1628 with one of the the tokens here and the last one was run in um, 1977. Um, since then it's been in museum collections. It can only come out on special occasions because of its value and um, its significance to the world. Well the silver bell here is over well approximately 900 years old and when racing at Lanark ceased 30 years ago uh, the silver bell was put in storage and hasn't seen the light of day since and I'm absolutely delighted to see it out and on view today to be enjoyed and appreciated by the public. I was a member for Lanark for 40, 45 years. I remember seeing the last race uh, 31 years ago and it was won by a horse called Border River trained by Dandy Nichols. And I kept my badge. Dated there? Dated 1977. 1977. Beautifully manufactured piece you know, of the bell, you know, the, of what the bell really looks like. So I've kept it, you know, leave it for my grandchildren. <laughs> and I'm particularly delighted to think that the Silver Bell Race, the Lanark Silver Bell Race, will be making some contribution to the success of this annual Cash for Kids race meeting at Hamilton. It's the first time we've done it, and I hope it's the first of many. It was a big act to follow, the Saints and Sinners event, which had done so well and raised so much money. But, you know, the race course have given us the chance. We've resurrected the Lanark Silver Bell, a really special night, bringing the whole county together. And look at the people who've turned out. And the great thing tonight is £150,000 or thereabouts going to help needy children here in the west of Scotland. The Lanark Silver Bell came in in the reorganisation of South Lanarkshire Council. The people of Lanark donated the Silver Bell and it's good to see it's still within Lanarkshire here in Hamilton Races. As this Silver Bell could have went anywhere in the world, so to keep it in our own home territory, such a valuable piece, the heritage that's attached to it, the history attached to it, and I'm sure people within the whole of Lanarkshire and Scotland are proud that we're keeping it here in Hamilton Racecourse. Really proud, the public having the opportunity to see such a wonderful trophy displayed tonight. I've travelled down from Oban tonight just to see the Silver Bell. It is the oldest race in Britain, and it would have been horrible for it to to die out. I, I feel that if that had been lost to Scotland, it would have been a total tragedy. And I'm delighted to see it going to be. I was basically brought up on uh, horse racing in the west of Scotland and the Lanark Silver Bell was a, was a huge part of my upbringing and it was a, a great sadness to me, I think, when it disappeared. So when I heard it was coming back, possibly to Hamilton, possibly to Ayr, I had to say I think Hamilton was the right place for it to be. And I'm delighted people are racing for it here tonight. It's a great old trophy, great old tradition and I hope it stays here for a very long time. Ready now for the Lanark Silver Bell. Off and running. And in the centre, the, one of the first away, Bajan Parks up there too in the early stages, Lock Eel and just dropping in behind them, Sin City. As they race now to the turn, they're out on the loop now with nine furlongs left to travel. Going on, it's Bajan Parks by two or three lengths here to Nero West up on the outside of Akarem. Followed then by Lock Eel, Tifanati right down the outside, Sin City right there in the centre. Anybody's race here, Bajan Parks trying to hold them off. Akarem, Sin City, Lavecchia Skuala getting the run. And now down the outside, Tifanati sprouting wings. Tifanati races now. Lavecchia Scuola trying to go with him, but it's Tifanati who drifts in under pressure, but he's a length and a half clear. Trying hard, Lavecchia Scuola. It's Tifanati who completes across the country double for William Haggis. Goes on to win it well.
we're really delighted to have the Lanark Silver Bell being raced for here at Hamilton Park. It's been a real coup for us to get it back and it's just fantastic that it's staying in Lanarkshire and where it really belongs to be raced for. So tonight's race has been such a success and it really shows the importance to all the owners and trainers that they've travelled so far to come and actually race for something so monumental. The owners come all the way from Newmarket so he's absolutely delighted that he's won such a living piece of history. It's, it's a really great pleasure to win this trophy, you know. Um, it's, the hot, it's one of the oldest trophies in, in racing, and, and um, I'm really proud to be part of that.